Let's talk about how to get your resume seen. What up, everybody? This is your boy, Tech G, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little secret to help you get your resume seen by an actual human being. Because you guys, hopefully you guys do understand that when you submit these resumes through websites like Career Builder or Indeed, that overwhelming majority of these resumes are scanned by a system, some type of AI system or whatever the case may be. And if your resume doesn't have certain things on it, it's not even going to make it to the human being for them to review your resume to see if they want to move forward with trying to initiate an interview with you. All right. So let me go ahead and show you guys a little secret on how to get that resume in front of an actual human being with actual eyeballs. All right, guys. So here we are. We got a sample of the Tech G resume, the greatest resume ever written in human history. Right. And so we're trying to figure out how can I get this resume? resume upload it to career builder indeed or some other job portal site and ensure that my resume will get seen by an actual human being with actual eyeballs how can i actually do this so let me show you the little secret and surprisingly I'm shocked that a lot of people don't know this trick. I've had quite a few people ask me about this, so I decided to go ahead and make a video. But, you know, before this, I thought that this was just common knowledge that everybody applied when they were submitting resumes, but apparently it's not. So let me go ahead and show you how to make this happen. All right. So you got your resume right here looking all wonderful, just just ready to go. You got all your your skills, your professional experience, your education, all that great, wonderful stuff. Right. And you want to submit this to a website like Indeed. You go on Indeed, you look for a job in your city. And you're like, man, I want to apply for this job. So right here we clicked on information technology specialist paying anything between $106,000 to $178,000 per year. You click on the job, it tells you all these wonderful details about the job, right? So before I show you guys what to do, first thing I do want to say is when it comes to applying for jobs, this is what I normally do or what I've normally done because I currently am employed. But if I read a job description and I know that I can do at least 50 to 60 percent of the stuff on that job description, I'm going to go ahead and apply for the job. Whether or not I get the job is another thing, but I'm going to at least apply for the job because you guys got to understand these job descriptions. These are just wish lists for the perfect candidate. But in reality, there is no perfect candidate. So my thing is, if you can do at least 50 to 60 percent of the stuff that they're asking for, apply for the job because the other 50, 40 percent you can always learn on the job. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to actually get your resume in front of an actual human being so that they can look over your resume and hopefully give you a call. So you found the job of your dreams. You're looking over it. You're like, man, I can do all of this stuff, baby. So here's what you're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to come to this job description and you're going to highlight the entire job description, ladies and gentlemen, the entire thing. I don't care how long it is. Just, just highlight the entire thing. Then what you're going to do, you're going to copy this. You're going to come back over to your wonderful resume. You're going to go down to the very bottom of it. If you got space, you can type it here or you can go ahead and just do a page break. And what you're going to do next, you're going to paste everything that you just copied. So you see that we got my resume right here. And then starting with the travel required, no, starting with, um, oh, starting with duties. This is everything that I just copied over from the actual job description. So you're going to add all of that to your resume. Then what you're going to do, you're going to highlight all this stuff that you just copied every single thing. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink the text. Just, just shrink it as, you know, small as to where basically it's not taking up a whole bunch of pages like it currently is. Cause currently right now my resume is basically it's two pages long. All right. So I've condensed all this stuff down to two pages, right? So I've condensed everything down to two pages. Then with all this highlighted text that I just copied, I'm going to go up here to my text color and I'm going to turn it white and bam, it just magically disappears. Right? So you're probably like, well, what's the point of this? So let me explain what I just did. So like I was saying earlier, 
when you go to these job sites, these job posting sites like Indeed, Career Builder, or whatever else is out there, I think Monster Jobs or something like that. When you submit these resumes, these resumes, nine times out of 10, are going to get scanned by a system, some type of AI or something else out there. And it's going to be looking for keywords on your resume. And if you don't have enough keywords on your resume, the system is going to reject your resume. So an easy way to circumvent that process from taking place so that hopefully your resume can get seen by a human being. Well, you're just going to copy the entire job description. Why? Because the entire job description has all the magical keywords already written in the job description. So now you're just taking those magical keywords and you're adding them to the bottom of your resume. And then why are you turning it white? Well, here's the reason why you're turning it white. Well, because you don't want to actually submit your resume and just have it obvious that you copy the job description at the bottom. Like if I turn all this black and then I submit my resume, well, guess what? You know, they can see that I've clearly copied the job description. <laughs> but if I go ahead and just turn it all back white, well, guess what? Nobody can see it, but the computer can see it. So what I'm saying is it doesn't matter if you keep this thing black or white, preferably you want to make the text white so it blends in with the paper. The computer will still be able to see the quote unquote invisible text. And guess what? They're going to pick up on all the magical keywords and that will hopefully get your resume past the computer. Now I say hopefully because there is no 100% guarantee. You know, I don't work for these companies. I don't write the algorithms, the programs that actually scan the resumes, but what I am saying is what I just showed you guys is probably going to significantly increase the odds of your resume, making it past the computer, the algorithm, the AI, whatever you want to call it, so that your resume can hopefully wind up on the desk of an actual human being so that they can scan over your resume. Now, once your resume does hit the desk of an actual human being, it's going to look like this. It's going to have your resume and then it may have an extra blank page. And then, you know, and chances are if the person reviewing your resume is smart, you know, they're probably going to be able to notice, okay, you got some invisible stuff on here. But then again, they might not notice because you got to also keep Keep in mind that when companies are advertising a job, they probably get anywhere between 100, 200 people applying for that job. And so reality is they might not even make it to this bottom page. They're probably just going to read the top lines to see if you even match whatever it is that they're looking for. And then they're going to make a split second decision based off of whether or not to trash your resume or put it in this pile over here for them to call later on. But the point is, the trick is trying to get the resume past the computer system first so that it can end up in the hands of an actual human being. And to do that, you're just going to want to do everything that I just told you. You want to copy the entire job description, paste it at the bottom of your resume, shrink the text, turn it white so that it appears invisible, but it's still visible to the computer. And so you want to do that so that you have all of the magical keywords on there to hopefully make it past step one, which is the computer reviewing your resume. That is the whole point of doing this. Now, I've done this countless times when I've submitted resumes and pretty much every time I've submitted a resume, I've gotten a call to go interview for a job. Now, is it because this method helped me get past the computer or was it because my resume was so fly? I really don't know. But regardless of me having a fly resume or not, I always put at the bottom the magical words that came straight from the job description. All right. So hopefully that will help some of you guys out if you didn't know this, because like I said earlier, I thought that this was just common knowledge that everybody knew. But apparently a lot of people don't know this. But now that you know, the knowing is half the battle G.I. Joe. All right. So that is my video. And hopefully you have gotten something valuable out of this information. And if you have, go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest concerning the wonderful world of information technology for those of you who are thinking about starting a career in IT. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace. Yeah. <laughs>